Alright everyone, when someone's fee-fees are hurt just for a simple truth, it's usually a sign of mental softness. And it's funny because usually when, when someone goes to a good university, Duke University, which is the, the subject here, you would think that a person of reasonable, adequate intelligence in order to get accepted at a place like that would at some point fucking grow up and, and mentally mature a little. Now, I don't mean mature like being stuffy or anything like that. I mean like get over it, so to speak, grow some thicker skin, and I guess that that's too much to ask for the people at Duke University, because they get all up in arms, because somebody went up to, like, I guess they had a memorial for uh, Black Awareness, or, or Black History Month, or, you know, that tends to be every month now, uh, or whatever, and they took George Floyd's toxicology <laughs> report, and they pinned it up there. Now, wouldn't it be funny if it was a black student that did that? Like someone who's just tired of the woke crowd, like they're like they're 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 like you know the the diamond and silk crowd, and they're like, well, you know, I'm I'm off the Democrat plantation, fuck this, I'm gonna get them riled up, and then they'll blame white people, but it, it then it turns out that it's not. That'd be funny. <laughs> That'd be the ultimate troll. Uh, uh, more anti woke people who are like BIPOC or whatever they're calling them now, people of color, colored people. There's a million different labels, none of them make sense, really, and half of them have racist overtones. Uh, it'd be funny if they started trolling, like, white college liberals <laughs> by doing things like that. Just, uh, you didn't get that idea from me, by the way. Anyway, people are all uh, upset about this, but, I mean, pinning up the toxicology report, who gives a fucking shit? The George Floyd, who's being held up as a sort of martyr or messiah, died of an overdose. He was on enough drugs at the time to die. That's the clear and simple truth. He's not, Chauvin's not going to get murdered too, and people are going to riot afterwards. That's what will happen. He might get manslaughter. That won't, that won't save towns from burning, though, because the Wokels will go out. 90% of them will be white, by the way. And they'll go and they'll, they'll take out their aggression because they've been led to believe that the system is just massively racist. Well, the system does suck, but it's not because of racism. It's because of statism. It's because of what libertarians would warn you about. It's because of big government and shit like that. Who empowers the metro forces to abuse you? Government does. Who runs most of the city governments with metro forces that are out of control? Democrats do. Specifically the left-leaning Democrats. Not, not just like the tired, like, Biden neoliberals. He was a tough-on-crimer, yeah. Uh, that was a long time ago. Now he's decided to pretend to be progressive. Kamala, too. It's very funny. Now, uh, the, the cities, by and large with the most violence, especially police on BIPOC community, black on black, black on white, white on chartreuse, uh, it's, it's most prevalent in places that are run by policies that probably these woke Duke kids would support. <laughs> a lot of welfare, big government, a lot of good sounding plans that are always, they come in late, over budget, and never work. You know, basically like miniaturized shovel ready. This happens. You remember the big dig? Oh, what a great time that was. Most of you are probably too young to fucking remember that and uh, never been to Boston. So here's the thing. This is the truth. If the toxicology report offends you, there's something mentally wrong with you. It's the truth, isn't it? What, you'd rather put your head in the sand? You don't have to claim that fentanyl is what killed him. You'd say, well, Chauvin knelt on his neck, and even though the coroner's report stated there were no life-threatening injuries, that clearly is what killed him. By the way, that's going to figure in heavily, that and the fact that it was technically standard procedure at the time for cops. You disagree with the procedure, but Chauvin's not at liberty to uh, 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 not obey the protocol. He'd get in trouble for that, actually. And by the way, anytime you've got a situation where a person is clearly spazzing out, I mean, but by the way, I will point out one thing. Can I please, uh, to, to like the thin blue line people and so forth, beat officers should be given, you, you know those little injectors they have that block opiates? Every single officer should have one of those at all times because this is prevalent in inner city communities. If he had done that, George Floyd would have calmed down real goddamn quick because it would have blocked the, the main drug that was killing him at the time. He probably would have been more cooperative, and it wouldn't have happened. That would have been the best outcome. That didn't happen. But Chauvin was just working with, you know, his, his training. Um, the toxicology report is going to figure heavily in the case against Chauvin by the prosecution. It's probably why he won't get murder two, and I don't think murder three. If anything, it would be manslaughter, and it's unlikely that he even gets that. I think it's 50-50 at best. But to the idea that it's like a hate crime to post up the toxicology report, when technically it's pertinent to black history, George Floyd has been... They literally travel around to where Confederate statues used to be on a rotating schedule and have like a memorial, like a, th a holograph, a hologram of fucking George Floyd. 
What's he known for? He's known for being dead while black and involved with a police officer. That's the only reason that you even know who it is. If he was white, nobody would have been. There'd be no holograph of him. There'd be, there'd be nothing. Remember, by the, and by the way, it depends on who does the killing. If a white person does it, especially a police officer, it's big news. You remember Sicoria Turner? No, you don't. Little 70-year-old black girl got shot by BLM thugs because her family, in a car, was trying to go around them uh, when they were blocking the road. So one of the, the thugs opened fire and killed her. You've never even heard of her. The MSM did the little kid. MSM's not going to report on that because the wrong person happened to shoot her. You'd know her name and there'd be statues to her if she were shot by a white person or by a cop. This is the racial animus of our time. It's not uh, yesteryear. Even back in the 90s, there, there were racial tensions in the U.S., especially, by, by the way, when you talk about Asian hate, because of a surge of especially Vietnamese immigrants, and of course a lot of Vietnam vets were a lot younger than back in the 80s and 90s, that was a big thing. Uh, hate, hate against Asians It's basically absent now, by the way. Now, there were a lot of race problems, you know, race riots and stuff, you know, Rodney King and so forth. Um, it, 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 there's a big problem, and a lot of it was animus aimed at people who were black or, or whatever, or Asian. Um, or Hispanic. <laughs> that lasted much longer. Uh, you remember border crossing? Uh, it, probably not. I, again, I'm showing my age, I guess. Now, the, the acceptable hate is against white people. <laughs> it's become not only acceptable, it's become fashionable. It's become fashionable for companies to pretend that as well, uh, well, being largely white CEOs, by the way, uh, to pretend to be woke in order to sell their products to idiots like this who get offended at the truth. They get offended at basic reality, and some of these people have severe white guilt, and they hate themselves because they've been programmed to hate themselves. They've been told every day of their life, that your, my ancestors conquered things and were noble. Your ancestors ran people down and are, and are colonizers. You should feel sorry for, you should feel crippling shame for what people did 300 years ago. Even if it has nothing to do with you, you're like, like whiteness means that a, a person of Swiss background has to feel sorry for what the Spaniards did or something like that. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. And it is racist. Yes, there's prevalent racism in the United States against white people. It's just the way that it is. And the left can uh, capitalize upon that while using their linguistic propaganda to try to convince people you can't be racist against white people because they're the empowered ones. Yeah, okay, again, uh, the random barefoot dirt floored Appalachian white family with like 13 kids. They're, they're oppressing other people. They're colonizers. They're obviously filled with despicable hatred. Uh, and so they, they should pay more taxes for reparations for a black heart surgeon or something. This is, is completely ridiculous. It's funny as hell, though. That's about all. Peace out.